All right, you guys, what it freaking do, y'all? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. Your boy is back at it again, y'all. And I wanted to do a quick follow-up video in regards to the long video of the whole supercharger build, the CVF racing kit and all that, man. That, that was a really good video, you guys. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in on that one, running it up for me, you guys. I mean, I got a lot of great feedback on it. Uh, that whole kit was definitely a learning experience for me and it still is because I'm finding things on it that aren't gonna work. Mainly one thing, and that's the power steering uh, pump. I won't be able to run it. So, uh, and a couple other things. I'll talk a little about that here in a moment here, but first off, if you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing, y'all. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. Mr. Griffin, 23 in the building. And this video, I didn't want to make you guys wait, man, because I'm excited about it and I wanted you to be a part of it too. Man, I heard this thing run. Ooh, wee, man, 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 man. This is the sound that I've been waiting on. This is, this, this whole thing, this whole thing I've been waiting on for a really long time and I'm excited that I actually got to hear it run. And man, oh man, I'll tell you what, boy, I missed that Pro Charger wine, no lie but anyways y'all first things first though i'll do a whole follow-up video in regards to the whole supercharger kit when i'm actually driving the car and see kind of how it holds up over time uh initially just real quick the power steering pump i have no idea why they put it where they put it because it does not fit it does not work at all like at all there's no if ands or buts around it uh, a buddy of mine also had the same issue on his supercharger kit and actually ended up going with a totally different setup uh, just because he had some issues with his engine so he had to change his whole setup anyway so anyways he was kind of coaching me on that and uh, shared his issues with his ended up being the same issues with mine I mean literally you guys if I had a picture I would show you but the supercharger belt routes and runs right dead smack center into the power steering pump and it's a gm type 2 pump it's really small but still i mean it runs right in line where the pump goes i have no idea how they think that that works and that fits because this kit it doesn't matter if it it doesn't matter what car it's in it, it this kit can mount into onto any ls engine and um, it's going to route the same way. The belt's going to route the same way. You might have issues with it hitting, you know, maybe the power steering gearbox or something else in your car, depending on how narrow or wide your frame is, but it's hitting the power steering pump regardless. So I'm going to have to figure some stuff out on that. Actually, I'm meeting a guy after work today here. I got a couple clients here today. And then after that, I'm going to go meet this guy who has a manual gearbox now. I don't want to go manual. Uh, anyways, to make a long story short, uh, the same buddy of mine has a Volvo uh, electric power steering pump. So that might be a route that I, I might go and I will definitely shoot some footage on that. It looks fairly simple to install. It's just really, it's just a really big unit. So I got to figure out where I want to put it. So anyways, that's one issue. I had another issue with one of the Pro Charger pulleys. I had to pull that whole unit back off again today because when I ran the vehicle today, the belt actually was rubbing against the edge of the pulley. Brand new belt, first time running it and it frayed the uh, the back of the uh, belt on it. Just, just a little bit, but it's enough that it's just annoying. So I might as well just keep it and just use it as a backup just in case something ever happened to the belt. So anyway, so that's that. And other than that, the uh, the whole kit has been pretty good. There's some modifications that I had to make too. I had to cut like a two and three quarter inch hole on my um, on my inner fender well, and luckily you can't see it because the Pro Charger is hiding it. But I also put a grommet on there too, just to cover that hole anyway. So, anyways, y'all, that was pretty much it. Everything else just bolted right up. It was pretty straightforward, other than me taking on and off that Pro Charger side many 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 times including today anyways you guys i don't want to hold you because i know you're here to kind of hear that first start up and man this is just raw footage i'm just gonna let it play so you guys can hear it and see it and actually rev it up a few times man Ooh wee! i'm so excited about this y'all i'm so excited so get in the comments let me know what you guys think leave a comment leave a like watch the whole video run this joint up you guys 
and enjoy it. And I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to let it play. And boom, that's the end of the video, okay? So anyways, if you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing now. Hit the notification bell. All that good stuff. Y'all missed a 23 in the building. Let's hear this pro charger, all right? Let's get it. Let's go.